And here's a look at the field. Number one, the Metro champ from last year, Ontario star Sir Locke. Siegel Racing Stable with Ron Pierce. Creek, Luke Willett driving Boulder Creek. George Brennan looking for his second Barry's Creep drives number two, the Globe for Sharp. Let it ride and Silva. Two A is Brando Blue Chip. He's owned by the Brando Stables. A driver change here to Andy Miller on Brando Blue Chip. Number three, Artesian. He's owned by Mark Wojciechowski with Eric Ledford. Number four, last year's New Jersey Sire Stake champ is a freshman, Cyanide, for Myron Mintz and Danielle Dubay. Number five, Twin B Dynamic, Jeff Snyder and Lothlorian Equestrian Center, Jack Moise of Driving. Number six, dual Winter Series winner, He Wants It All, who took his elimination for the Berries Creek for owner Mike Polanski and driver Dave Miller. Number seven, the lightly raced Book of Life. He's owned by Gordon Bryan with Jim Morrill, Jr. And Brian Sears tries to become the second driver ever to win the Berries Creek in his first attempt. He's behind number eight pair of cards for Taffy, McDuffie, New Millennium Management, and Beam. So that's the field for the 2003 Berries Creek three-year-old pace, exacta, trifecta, and pick four. In many ways, the Berries Creek is the kickoff for the major stake season here at the Big M, the spring and summer. 275,000 on the line for the three-year-old pacing Colts, and they're nearing the start. And they're off, and there goes the Globe, and Brennan has him fired up from the outside, trying for the lead. Twin B Dynamic is in between horses, and Boulder Creek kicks out well. He secures rail position, and these three are across the track, and the Globe is off stride. The Globe went on a break there in the opening turn. He's back pacing, but lost several lengths. Sir Locke is right in behind the leaders, racing third. The Globe dives in against the Cones fourth. Racing in fifth is Artesian, as Twin B Dynamic leads at the quarter in 26 and 2, and Boulder Creek Creek with a quick move from the pocket. He now takes command as they head on to the back stretch. He wants it all. Has come away racing in six. Waiting for him to go is Cyanide on the outside. Jammed up there three wide. Brando Blue Chip in between horses and tight quarters. Book of Life and pair of cards up the rail as Boulder Creek leads him down the back stretch. Twin B Dynamics sits the pocket in second. Sir Luck is racing third. He wants it all. Forced to come first over. The Globe is now fifth to his inside as they hit the half and 55 seconds flat. Cyanide on the outside and now on the move Sir Luck so he wants it all is second over. That leaves Cyanide third over about seven lengths from the lead. A rail ride for Artesian who moves up to his inside. Racing an eighth on the outside is Book of Life. Then racing a ninth is Pair of Cards and Brando Blue Chip who was roughed up early is fifth over. He trails the field and Boulder Creek is controlling the front end here. Off three quarters and 123 and two. Twin B Dynamics sitting in behind him all the way for a great trip there in second. It's Boulder Creek with an eighth of a mile to come. Twin B Dynamic pops out. He wants it all as racing third. Three lengths from the lead and Boulder Creek is still there. He wants it all. Is charging hard on the outside. Artesian flying late as well. It's Boulder Creek. He wants it all. Artesian for a big upset. Artesian may have nailed it. A three-way photo. Artesian, he wants it all and Boulder Creek in one fifty-one and one The results have been posted official and a huge upset here in the Berries Creek as number three Artesian nails it in the final strides. He's from the first crop of Art Escape out of the Falcon Sealster Mare Hula Dancer, all by Mark Wojciechowski of Columbus, New Jersey, who inherited this horse when his uncle Donald Bruin passed away just a couple months ago. Sam DePinto, the trainer, the biggest win of his career, and Eric Ledford in the Sulky. Artesian in only his second start of his sophomore campaign, 151 and 1 fifth, and the results have been posted official.
Certainly a jubilant winner's circle scene as Artesian lights up the tote board here. $112.60 to win, $24.40 to place, and $3.60 to show. Finishing second, number six, he wants it all, $3.80 and $2.20. And third, 1A, Boulder Creek, $2.10 to show. Exact accommodation of three and six pays $445.20. The trifecta, $3.61, $1,139.60. And 60 cents. Momentarily, Meadowlands Director of Racing, Tad Stockman, will be making the trophy presentation to the Artesian Connections. We have trainer Santa Pinto, Eric Ledford. Eric, tell us a little bit about the trip here Artesian got tonight. Uh, it was a good trip. Uh, I kept him down along the rail the whole mile, which uh, that's what Sam told me to do, and just uh, hope for the best. and. Uh, you know, if everything shook loose uh, right the, exactly the way it did, and uh, he thought the horse could be there. Did you know anything about the horse at all, and how do you feel scoring down? He felt really good scoring down. He was a little more aggressive than, uh, than I thought he was, but uh, Sam made some battle changes between this week, and uh, I think it made the world a difference. Okay, Sam DePinto, this is the biggest race you've ever won? Yes, it is. You've been around the Meadowlands a long time. Tell, explain what you're feeling right now. Uh, I, I don't know. Unbelievable. You, you Tell us a little bit about Art Escape. What, what, what attracted you to get this horse? Actually, when I was at the sale, I, was, I happened to just walk by him. I really didn't want him. And I walked by and I saw him and I said, he's a beautiful colt. And uh, I looked his pedigree up and I loved him. I saw his father race and I thought he was one of the nicest horses I ever saw race. Game horse, sound horse. And uh, I had to buy him. And you've kept him on a pretty much New Jersey schedule too. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. We got him, uh, actually, we got him staked just about throughout everything. There's only a few races that we didn't put him in. Coming into tonight, what would you have been happy with? A check? A little, little piece of the pie? Um, yeah, I didn't know how tight he was going to be going into this race. I knew he could race with these colts. These are very nice colts. And uh, I didn't know if we were going to be up to par tonight, but uh, evidently he was. At what, at what point training down did you say, wait a second, this guy might be all right? Uh, when I trained him as a two-year-old, he, um, he, missed, he missed a week, and I worked him a mile and 55 at the farm. And that's when I knew he was a nice colt. When I trained him a mile and 55, he'd come a quarter and 26 and four. And uh, he, uh, he looked apart right there. Okay, Mark, we'd like to call Mark on over here. Mark's the owner. We just recently inherited the horse, if we can get him on over here. But Sam, where does he go from here? Uh, he has a New Jersey Sire stake, and um, then he has the uh, New Jersey Classic following that. Okay, Mark, tell us, how did, how did you wind up with the horse? We heard you inherited the horse. Is that true? Yeah, from my Uncle Don. He passed away, what, about two months ago. So, uh, but Sammy's the guy here. And uh, I know Don's looking down, laughing. Laughing his ass off. Did your uncle ever think the horse was this kind of quality? He loved this horse. Out of all the horses he had, this was his horse. And he, he knew this horse was going to do good. Okay. okay, Mark, congratulations. Sam, Eric Ledford, 55 to 1. All, the $19 will be the longest shot on the board. Barry's Creek is official, and it's Artesian with the biggest upset in Barry's Creek history.